Let's go next to our caller from the 410 area code. Who's calling today from 410? Hey, David, my name's Jim. Did you say Tim or Jim? Jim with a J. Jim with a J. All right. What's going on, Jim? Yeah. Uh, thanks for taking the call, man. I uh, hope everything's staying healthy and you're well. Thank you. Uh, uh, I just, uh, I, I'm just calling to, to get your read on the QAnon stuff and, and, I'm curious to see what percentage you think of the right is sort of uh, is on board with some of that that stuff. And it's you know I've only just kind of started to hear about the QAnon stuff, and um, it seems problematic. So I'm just I'm I'm curious what your read is on how how much you might see that on the right side of the aisle. So I don't have any independent assessment, but it, earlier this week I interviewed Alex Kaplan from Media Matters and Alex said that we're probably talking about millions, but not tens of millions. That's that's the, the current assessment that Alex had. And I would I would, you know, defer to him on that. Um, and that seems about right. If you look at sort of like tweet volume and Facebook groups uh, and remember, some of these movements seem larger when you're looking at the Internet, but they're really not that big. And, you know, we saw that um, we, we've seen that with a lot of different movements. I think this is what surprised a lot of people during the Democratic primary. How did Joe Biden get all these millions of votes? Well, if you just look online, the sort of Bernie AOC left seems bigger than it actually is. And that's not a praise or yeah. criticism. It's just a reality. I think that that may make QAnon seem like a bigger thing than it is, but it certainly seems to be in the millions, but short of tens of millions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and so you don't think that necessarily it might have um it might it might not have a massive impact on the sort of you won't see that sort of votership reflected as much as one might think based on headlines and stuff in the actual vote in in, in the November. popular vote in total. No, but remember that there's 20 candidates that are QAnon affiliated on the ballot in November two of whom seem to have a real shot at winning again, according to what Alex Kaplan told us earlier this week. I think if you get two QAnoners in the House of Representatives, that's going to start to take on a little bit of a different picture. Right. Yeah. And so you would think then that most of the conservative base is, is more moderate or do you think it's all right, something that's Oh, that's maybe a larger part of the constituency or no. Here's well, the thing. Read there? When you have something like QAnon, it, it doesn't really help us to assess where the Republican Party is in general, because the, these are really, at least for now, this is a relatively small group. These are outliers. These are sort of it's it's like a it's a slice of Trumpists and Trumpists are a slice of the Republican Party. So I don't really think that QAnon existing tells us much about the broader dynamics of the Republican Party. But you're getting to something that I think is really important, which is whenever Trump leaves, whether it's in January or January of 2025, whenever that is, what happens to the Trumpists that are left over and how does that manifest in the Senate and in the House of Representatives, in governor's mansions, state senates, et cetera? And that's more of an open question. But I wouldn't make any assessments about the Republican Party from QAnon, really. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And, and I think, um, you know, just building on that, you would say the majority of, of Republicans maybe are are, are uh, more moderate or more reasonable than sort of those fringe groups. So that maybe. Well, you listen, know, if the if the standard for the Republican Party has become very radical over the last 20 years, if we're comparing yeah. to QAnon, then OK, I don't I don't think the, the majority of the Republican Party does not have the beliefs of QAnon, but they have their own radical beliefs in their own way. Sometimes they're radical religious beliefs. Sometimes they're radical authoritarian beliefs. Sometimes they're just really widely debunked economic ideas. So it's not like a bailout for Republicans that they're not all as crazy as QAnon, if you know what I mean. Right. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. I, and I think uh, the comparison to the, the AOC Bernie stuff seems relevant to me. But but do you, do you feel that there's a similar sort of striation of the party on, on our side of the aisle as well or? 
I think the dynamics are very, very different because some of these extreme movements, some of these extreme movements exist on the left where they're so extreme that they're not even really on the spectrum of yeah. no, sort of like the normal political spectrum where QAnon is wacky. It's like this pe these pizza gators and that type of thing. For the most right. part, like the Bernie AOC wing of the Democratic Party, they're mostly voting for Joe Biden. They understand Biden's closer to them than Trump, and it makes sense to remove Trump. That's like a normal way to interact with the political system here in Massachusetts. We had these primaries. Everybody I know who supported Joe Kennedy or Alex Morse is now tweeting and posting that like, OK, our person lost, but we're obviously voting for Markey and Richard Neal because they're better than the alternatives. Most people yeah. are operating in that way. A lot of the QAnon people are in a totally different universe where they're not even on the political spectrum in a normal way. Right. So so. So how then how would you compare? Can you give me more sort of, I, I guess, clarity on how you would compare the AOC Bernie Sanders type of, of spectrum? You're talking about two, the Q and on like, do, do you think AOC and, and Bernie are are closer to to the center than like the Q and ons or, or do you think? Uh, well, I think it's the wrong, I just think it's the wrong analysis. I don't know that you can, yeah. you know, conspiracy theorists. It's very tough to put them on the political spectrum. I mean, look at anti-vax as an example. You yeah, have people totally. that end yeah. up as anti-vax on the right because they're skeptical of government. And you have people that end up anti-vax on the left because they're skeptical of businesses and they share their anti-vax sentiment. But if you say, where are yeah. they on the political <laughs> spectrum? They're both they're all over it and some are not on it at all. Like they're not political other than they are anti-vax. So I just don't think we can really analyze it in such a sensible, rational way. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 yeah that makes a lot of sense. Um, Cool. I, I can't think of anything else to ask you, but um, all right. I appreciate so the phone call. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank you Thanks for calling so in. Much, David. Thank you. Uh, great to hear from you. We are going to go to a break and we will take calls again very, very soon. Real quick, I want to tell you about our sponsor, Magic Spoon, who have done something awesome. They've taken all of our favorite sugary childhood cereals that we know we shouldn't eat anymore and turn them into something you can actually feel good about eating as an adult. There's four flavors, cocoa, fruity, frosted and blueberry. They taste great. They're crunchy. They're sweet like you would expect this type of cereal to be. But it's perfect for a ketogenic diet because one bowl has only three net carbs, 12 grams of protein. It's sugar free, gluten free, grain free, soy free. Once our team tried Magic Spoon for the first time, we actually ended up emailing Magic Spoon back and saying, can you send us more boxes, send more samples? They've been a big hit with uh, David Pakman show staffers and Magic Spoon knows how delicious their cereal is, because if you don't like it, they'll refund all of your money. No questions asked. And you'll get free shipping when you go to Magic Spoon dot com slash Pacman and use the code Pacman. That's P-A-K-M-A-N.